Uh, so, anyway, uh, I want you all to realize that uh, I'm not a scientist or anything. Uh, I didn't major in physics. Uh, I don't have a major in science. I'm, I'm not a major of any kind. Maybe major dick sometimes. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> so this is just uh, my uh, the things that I've seen since having this idea and building uh, this contraption and watching it for endless hours. I mean, actually sitting here and watching every pattern that it could possibly make. Uh, the the things that are important when setting this system up is fan placement. Uh, the twine that you're attaching it with, or bungee, or rope, or whatever you use, I don't suggest using chain because it'll bunch up and, and it won't release its energy properly. And also, the metal used in that chain is probably not malleable, so it doesn't flex enough. Uh, so anyway, the important things are the fan placement. That's very important. The uh, because it, it it has to do with timing. Uh, the, the twine or whatever you're hanging it from uh, the strength of that doesn't matter but there's a secret to it that I'm not gonna oh okay I see here on my notes that I am gonna divulge this, this one secret there are three secrets that I know of that I was planning not to tell anyone however I'll give this one away that twine up there must be wound up to start this system. That's part of the secret secret. Everything's a secret because it's all new discovery as far as I know. Doing this, making this. Uh, that uh, twine must be wound up. So after you hook it all up, you hang it from the ceiling, you need to wind it in the opposite direction or in the same direction that you know the fan is gonna blow it. Uh, doing this, uh, uh, what this does is when the fan blows it, it, it actually blows it tighter. There was already some energy stored from you winding it up. However, uh, it wasn't really enough to spin this thing too much because it's really heavy. So what it needs is a little bit more power created by the fan, which is exactly why it blows at 180 degrees. Now, I have gotten it to blow a little bit further, up to maybe uh, 220 degrees. Uh, however, this creates a lot of wobble because of centrifugal force of the, of the, uh, of the light fixtures swinging out. And then uh, when they come to a stop, they'll get a wobble. And then it'll start swinging back, which creates a little more wobble. Anyway, it's, it's a hassle. So I'm happy with 180 degrees uh, with a single fan. Uh, <clears throat> so that's a secret thing. You have to wind it up. And then, and then you set the fan in place. And you let that big vein rest against the fan blade. It just rests there. It's not. It doesn't have much energy. Probably enough to budge a ladybug. So then, when the fan comes on, it'll blow that. Uh, it'll blow the air lights away, and it has just enough energy to go a half a revolution, and then it, it'll it'll return. It has just enough energy to return itself back to the fan, and then. It all happens again and again and again. Uh, this has been, I haven't touched it since I remade it about, uh, tw I don't know, 20 hours ago or something. But, I mean, it'll go for days and days. So, next. Uh, oh, by the way, it, right after I get done with this, you'll be uh, seeing all the upgrades. That's why I'm not showing it right now. Uh... I don't know if I'm going to call it a new version or a revision, but anyway, I trimmed away a lot of fat and had some new ideas that I implemented. So, let's see, a few other, uh, 
Oh, the counterweights. Yeah, I already talked about them, maybe. Anyway, I'll talk about them again if you missed it. If not, you know, listen up. Hey, <clears throat> the weight of uh, the counterweight plus the weight of the light on that side has to equal the weight of the vane and the light on that side, on the opposite side. Uh, this is very important because then the whole thing is going to be balanced, which you'll see later. Uh, I'm not so certain that's important for its flight, so to speak. Uh, but I'll investigate that another time. Uh, there's more. Uh, okay, uh, this is kind of pretty important, or it has been for me so far. I'm going to get a new position here, see if I can sit down. I don't want to be standing here talking to you. Let me see what you're looking at. That's good enough. It still gives you everything. Uh, so, the the electric fan. It's It's been fairly important to me to have uh, an oscillating fan. That's a, that's a requirement. An oscillating electric fan. But the other thing that's been helpful is to have one that adjusts uh, in height because when that happens I can actually get closer to the Aerolite's device. If the fan's too high I might hit the backbone of the Aerolite's. If the fan's too low I might hit the hood even though the fan is sitting outside of the radius of the air lights, uh, which is uh, another requirement for uh, setting everything up. The fan must be set uh, setting outside of the largest radius of the air lights. Uh, that means uh, that any particular time, because now the lights are adjustable, I can put them out more easily. There's already holes made in it and everything now. Uh, if the light, if the hood's out, out far, if they're spread out farther for a larger area or more plants, uh, then you have to be careful of that hood striking anything, anything in your room. I have a pedestal, my fan's on a pedestal, the hoods can't hit that. My fan has a big base with all these buttons and knobs. My fan can't hit that. I, sorry, the hood can't hit that. Uh, you may even have the device so high that the hood could hit your fan or you could have your fan sitting on the floor. Everything's set up uh, with the tilting uh, face of the fan could be set up to blow upward and, and strike that vein. I don't know. There's many possibilities. Uh, also, the backbone can't be striking the fan. Uh, the only thing that should ever touch the fan the only part of the air lights that should touch the fan is the tip of the vane. Uh, now, I've made some modifications to that, too, to make it... Uh, well, we'll talk about it later. Uh, da, da, da. Well, that's about it, actually. So, I'm going to stop this and start up the... Uh, 1.3